this here is uh this is my thoughts uh my predictions on the Dreamcast 2 if it was to happen or if it's in the works or whatever now Dreamcast 2 developed by Sega Sega is a very very excellent a very well known game developers I mean, they, they make phenomenal arcade games. Arcade games are just revolutionary. Pla console games are, are strong, strong too. Now, they're making another Dreamcast. Do I see it succeeding? Do I see it competing with PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U? I strongly am going to say yes. If they make a Dreamcast 2... I, I, I strongly see them succeeding. I, I, I strongly see it as just another competitor. Even though they got those other competitors, <coughs> they definitely will succeed. Now, Sega has been an excellent competitor back in the days, back in the 90s, back in the 80s with their Sega Master System, Genesis, Saturn, Dreamcast, and so on and so forth. They make a Dreamcast too. I, I highly recommend they they put a a, a good good RAM chip in there. It's, it's it's really not all about the processor anymore. Yeah, if you pick Intel or AMD, they they they're two good manufacturers. People lean more towards AMD because they're good with graphics. They're they're an excellent excellent graphic card making company. There, they make excellent graphics cards. But Intel-wise, they make excellent CPUs. I mean, they have some excellent chips. So if you pick either or, it doesn't really matter. As long as you pick the top-of-the-line model, it, it'll be good. Intel or AMD, it doesn't really matter. But what does matter, you, I strongly recommend Sega. I mean, you, you must have eight cores or more. I mean, not eight, yeah, you, yeah, I'm saying, yeah, eight cores and also eight gigs of GDDR5 RAM. You have to have 8 gigs or more to compete with these competitors cuz when they when they see more competition, they're just going to get better at their game development. They're going to get better at game design. So you have to keep up with them. I mean, you must have 8 gigs or more. And I strongly recommend you you select GDDR5 RAM. That's a serious high grade RAM chip there. Just saying that you must have that. You do simply must. I mean, I mean, if that happens, Sega, I, I strongly see you. I strongly see you on the same level, the same path as 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 Sony and Microsoft. You're you're just the third competitor. I mean that that's what that we need more competitors. I strongly feel that way. The games are just going to get more intense. They're going to get. They're going to come out with better exclusives for their systems. The more competition, the better there is. And you don't have to worry, Sega, because yeah, we have we have PlayStation Four, Xbox One. We're still going to buy your system. So, so, so the same people that have that PlayStation Four and Xbox One, they're going to buy the Sega Dreamcast too. Because know why? Because it's all about the video games. That's all. That's all we are. We're just solid game players. We want video games. I mean, if, if you build a strong eight core or more, or or and also eight gigs of RAM and more system, I I, I, I strongly see you succeeding. The, 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 let us let let the gamers find out you you're coming out. You're developing right now a twelve core. A, 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 a 16 gig of RAM system. I can guarantee you, you will have a line outside waiting two day, two or three days to the buy your buy your system out of the retail store. I can guarantee. What if you come out with a 12 gig? I mean, a 16 gig and a 12 core gaming console. And and and, and it, it's really not that expensive now to get. It's really not that expensive. You will make all that money back. All you have to do is, is, is make monthly subscriptions like PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live because that's how they're getting their money back. I'm 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 happily playing uh, 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 Sony for PlayStation Plus. I have no problems playing 
paying for PlayStation Plus. Not at all. That's only $50 they're asking for for a year. That's absolutely not a big deal. You you gave me that system for three ninety nine. You here 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 here's a four ninety nine for for PlayStation Plus. Here, take that happily. I'm 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 happily giving it to you. I have no problem with that. Now, Sega, you just need to turn around and do the same thing. A Sega Plus or or or, or a Sega Live, fifty dollars a year. That, that, that right there, that, that, I, I see you succeed. You're going to get all that money back. And you make your system $399 or $449? Please, it has, to, it has to be over 8 cores. It has to be over 8 gigs of RAM. And if you, if you choose a, a, a grade of RAM, you should choose GDDR5. Please let this happen. What if, what if you come out with a Dreamcast 2 and just surprise all of us? I'm sure that just might happen. I mean, I mean you're just going to sell big time. I mean, because yeah, you're Sega. Everyone knows Sega. You have a history with us gamers. We know who Sega is. We know the history of Sega. Oh, this is Sega's new Dreamcast system? I have to, I have to be an owner. I have to own one of these products. I'm sure you other gamers are out there saying the same thing. What if Sega turns around and make an 8 core, a 16 gig of RAM system? An Intel or AMD based motherboard. That, that, that right there, you'll be like, oh shit. Oh my god, I have to get that system. Complete power. That's devastational power. Right? And you're gonna have you're gonna have third party support. You always had third party support. Sega, I strongly recommend. You make another system. And now you don't have to, but I, I, if you make another system, I, I see your system selling. I strongly see it selling. I see it moving. Just because of your name. Just because of your reputation. Excellent. You have excellent arcade games. I mean, phenomenal games. You coming out with another system and, and it, to compete? With PlayStation 4, Xbox One? I, I want to say Wii U, but Wii U really... It doesn't really compete with these 8-core, eight 8-gig eight systems. If you make a new system over 8 cores, over 8 gigs of RAM... I, 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 think, I, think, the, I think the world's just going to... We're just going to lose our mind. And not only that, you, you're going to have to develop a, a, a virtual reality headset. Just like Sony, they got Project Morpheus. And I hear a rumor too, Microsoft has something in the works. They're just keeping it on the down low. Now, Microsoft is an extremely powerful system. Everybody talks because PlayStation 4 is, what, 50% powerful than the Xbox One? But that, that, that really doesn't mean anything. We're going to see a very fantastic Halo 5. That's a major exclusive. That is a money maker for the Microsoft Foundation Microsoft company. Wait till we see Halo 5. We just saw a little a little picture of it, a little glimpse. That's gonna that people are gonna buy Xbox Ones just to play that Halo 5. I can guarantee that. Now now back to my main topic with, with your your Dreamcast 2 rumor. That, that's, that's what it is. It's a rumor going on. There's so many rumors going on. I'm starting to think it's real. I'm seeing pictures and stuff. Can somebody comment me if this is real or not? Because I need to know if this is real. Because right now, I, I think it's just a rumor. But if this move really happens, my, my money is my money's going right to GameStop. I'm going to put my money down right now. Let me find out tomorrow or, or at, at E3, you're, you're announcing a Dreamcast 2. I'm going to stop everything I'm doing and go right to GameStop. $50 down to guarantee... My 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 uh launch edition version of your Dreamcast 2 because of your name. I know you're gonna put some fantastic games on your system. Now, as in for controllers, now now, they, they, uh, uh, these now major controllers they got these touch screens and 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 and, and swipe screen. PlayStation, the DualShock 4 has that 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 touchpad. The Nintendo Wii has that gamepad. Now that's that, that's a little bit tedious. I, 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 
I, I really don't see a necessary need for touch screens and, and controls. Now, touch screens are, are, are meant to be are meant to be looked at while you touch. So that takes all your, your mental focus and your eyes adjusting from the main screen down to the to the uh to the gamepad. Now you now you your sights are focused on the gamepad. Now when you look back up, you you get a little bit dizzy. You gotta readjust to the main screen. That's that's not really all that comfortable. Now now I, I rather more buttons than than than, than touch screen. That's just, this is this is not to hurt anyone's feeling or make anyone angry. I just, just this is just the way I feel. I mean, uh, touch screen is it's just too much head movement. It's too much looking at different things. It's too much. Your eyes gotta settle on one thing. It's it gotta keep settling. You start to get dizzy. I don't. I, don't, I, it's just, I don't know if it's just me, but if you guys, if you guys think otherwise, give me some comments. But I. Touch screen, it's a nice idea, but I only see touch screens working on cell phones. Because when you look, you're concentrating on cell phones. You're dialing numbers. You're selecting pictures. You're watching movies. You're, 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 you're texting. Yeah, that, that works on cell phones. But on, on gaming consoles and controllers, that, I, I, I really don't see it happening. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to I be, I want to go with it. I, I want to say yes, but it was a good idea. But if you think about it, it it's... Really, it's really annoying. I mean, I, I I'd rather I'd rather touch buttons because you you don't even have to look at your controller. You got hands eye a coordination, so you know where the buttons are without even looking at. It. That's probably the best way to do things. That touch screen, you gotta look directly down to make sure you hit that that exact icon. That that's that, nah. I, I'm sorry. I like the whole idea and everything. It is fancy. It's a, Buttons and analogs are, are are everything in video games. That is just the way I feel. More buttons, the better. And the, the, the more the, the, now the the DualShock Four, it, it it's okay. You don't have to look at the you don't have to look at the uh the the the, 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 the scan the, the touchpad, but when you swipe it, sometimes it's not all that responsive. Like I'm playing. A Warframe, and I'm, I'm swiping and stuff, and, and it's not all that responsive. It's a nice idea, but I, 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 it's it's really not necessary for gaming controllers. Uh, uh, what's necessary for gaming controllers are buttons, and I mean springable buttons too, not the cheap buttons. I mean buttons you can press and you feel you feel comfortable and relaxed with that button because it springs back up naturally. It has a natural button feel. The, I, I use a lot of third-party controls, and the buttons feel cheap. I mean, the buttons don't spring back. I'm, I'm trying to play Street Fighters. I'm trying to I'm trying to use the beautiful Chong Lee and her legs. And I, and so for some reason, sometimes those third-party controls don't re want to respond. But I, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yeah, the quality buttons and analogs. Get some good quality analogs. I mean I mean. Spend the money because you're gonna make the money. I mean, it's not all about being cheap. I'm, I'm, I, this is not to, to hurt your feelings, uh, or to make anybody hurt. Or, or, or I'm not raising any. But I mean, come on, you have some in, you have some intense, serious gamers. I am a serious gamer. I don't care if that controller costs me a hundred dollars. If that's absolute quality, I'm, I'm definitely gonna buy that controller because that controller is gonna last with me. I mean, you want a quality, feeling, sturdy, strong controllers, good feeling D-pad, nice, sturdy analogs, comfortable, adjustable, springable buttons. I mean, a nice, a nice grip to your controller. I mean, it doesn't break. It feels comfortable in your hands. You got to make that happy. I mean, it, that that's a controller there. A good quality controller. I mean, they're... I'd rather not have a t uh, a, a touch screen. I, I I really I really don't see necessary needs for a touch screen. Now, I I want to agree with everybody, but I really don't see it. Now back to the system there. Now anything over eight cores will do. Anything over eight gigs of RAM will do. If you ask me, I'm gonna say, really eight eight gigs of RAM is really overkill. If you if you if you look at look at it. Because I'm looking at some games right now. I'm looking at this this new game that came out, Elder Scrolls Online. 
the game is simply phenomenal. I look on the back, I look on the specifications, the system requirements. It's only max, it's the max is four gigs of RAM. And I believe it only needs the lowest amount of RAM you, you can use on it is two gigs. And they said the max is four gigs of RAM of DDR3 RAM. And that is a high quality, high powered game there. That is a, a solid game. Elder Scrolls Online is absolutely beautiful, but, but there's no reason why this, 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 that game can't run on these systems. And it's coming out for the PlayStation 4. I don't know about the Xbox One, but it can run perfectly on that too because you have eight, uh, eight, an 8 gig of RAM system. Now, 5 gigs of RAM is dedicated to games for the Xbox One. And the PS4, 7 gigs is dedicated to games. Now, 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 now. Just imagine you putting out a 12 core system. Or, or and with, with 16 gigs of RAM. And you can make like what, 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 what? I mean, what, what, two gigs just for multitasking? You don't even need two gigs for that because multitasking don't even take that much. But if you make two gigs for multitasking and then, then, then there's 14 gigs dedicated for gaming, can you imagine that? Gamers, are, are you gamers listening to me? 14 gigs dedicated. That's some serious overkill. That means your imagination, Sega. Sega's imagination will, will absolutely run wild. There's absolutely nothing we cannot see. The amount of enemies, antagonists on the screen is going to be phenomenal. I mean, you can do so much. You can do so much with this PlayStation 4 and Xbox One too. But let, let, let us find out. 14 gigs is dedicated for games. And and, and and it's the top of the line on 14 gigs, which is GDDR 14 gigs. That that right there, I see that happen. I see you succeeding, Sega. Please, Sega, watch this video. Please, you gamers out there, direct Sega to this video. I I, I, I see that happen. I see you. I see you. Right now, I have every system in my house right now. You, you're just going to you're just going to be added to my collection of gaming consoles. How much money will it really cost you? Somebody comment me on how much money will it cost you to develop a new Dreamcast 2 system with 12 cores and 16 gigs of GDDR5 RAM with a with a high-end HD motherboard like a, a, Intel or AMD because they're both strong uh, processing companies. They're both uh, uh, legit, excellent manufacturers of CPU processors. Uh, AMD, they just, they're, they're just good at making graphics cards. They're very good at graphics cards. But when it comes to Intel, they're good at making multitasking processors. So whichever one you choose. Or what if you have both of them in your system? Hey, can you imagine if you have both of them in your system? You have the Intel processor and and, and, and it, it, it's it's handling your multitasking it's handling that like two gigs for multitasking and the AMD processor is is dedicated for games so a 14 gig AMD processor GDDR5 if you have two processors in your gaming console you're just gonna absolutely blow our minds because you got the best of both worlds in your system I, oh my God! I'm I'm just entertaining myself. Oh my God! Please say it. It can happen. I I believe in you. You you will you will be here to the earth till we go into Armageddon. You're you're never gonna go out of business. Say it. You you are one hundred percent excellent developers. Can you imagine that gamers? If they have two processors, the Intel processor is is dedicated for the for the uh multitasking purposes and the AMD processor it handles their game purposes. I can strongly see that happening. How much money will that cost you to develop? And then sell if, if it comes down you might have to sell that system for five hundred dollars. Doesn't really matter because it's gonna sell. And not only not only that, you make monthly and yearly subscriptions to PlayStation I mean to Sega Live or Sega Plus. $50 a year or $10 a month. 
you're gonna generate so much money. And then you got third party companies on your side, Call of Duty, Battlefields. I mean, I mean, it's just left and right. We all love you. It's not like you have enemies out there. You, you're just another gaming developer. Bandai, that's another company. I love Namco, Bandai. Why do I love them? Because I love their Dark Souls series. I love their Souls games. I mean, those games are just simply entertaining. I mean, it's just, it's just, fun. and it's getting better. They're coming out with a Project Beast. Right now, it's called Project Beast. You will, if you have Namco and Bandai on your side, I'm sure that can happen. I'm sure that can happen. Our Project Beast is not going to be in your console because Project Beast is a Sony exclusive, but you have Namco Bandai. They can make a make a, a, a Sega's version, a Dreamcast version. I strongly believe in you, Sega. If this rumor is happening, if it's true, if you can give us a what a 12 core with 16 gigs of RAM and and and, and, and an Intel and an AMD processor in there, both of those in there, in your system. Uh, our jaws are just going to drop. I mean, everyone, everybody and their mom is going to go on Sega's side. Let us go to E3 and Sega makes an announcement. Everyone is running to the Sega Foundation, to the Sega Conference. Are you serious? What if that happens? What if you have Two major processors in your system. Intel and AMD. PCs right now don't even have that. But what if you have Intel and AMD in your system? I can see that system succeeding. It, it, that's a successful system. Oh, everybody who has a PlayStation 4 right now is going to get that system. They're going to get your Dreamcast too. Everyone who has an Xbox One. It's going to get that Dreamcast too. It doesn't matter who comes out with it. It's all about the games. They're just imagining what are the games going to look like. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited myself. I just entertained myself right now. I hope you are watching this Sega because I am a 100% Sega fan. It's not even funny. I'm a fan of other gaming developers too, because I don't hate any other game developer. I don't hate anyone. I'm not. I, I'm not an enemy of anyone. I don't. I don't look for enemies. I just play video games to the fullest. I mean, to the fullest, to the point where I gotta have a personal punching bag in my room, because you sometimes you gotta let your stress out and your anger out. I recommend everyone get a punching bag because it's very helpful. Get a punching bag helpful tool. When you stress when you're stressed out, hit that shit. You know, watch how, how watch how good it feels. You, you relieve all the stress and tension. Now you're, you're comfortable to play your games now because it, it's out of your system. But back to my topic now. Please say your please surprise us at this year's 2014 with the Dreamcast 2 announcement. And give us spec details and everything. Please, Sega. Please bring your hardware back to us. Because you made, over the years, you've made some excellent hardware. you made some excellent consoles. I mean, phenomenal. Eight cores with 16 gig of RAM, Intel, and AMD in your system. If you guys like this video... Please subscribe and watch my other videos on other fantastic ideas and suggestions that I make. Not to piss off these game developers or these game manufacturers. Just ideas I love because I'm just a gamer myself. That's all I am, a gamer. I'm not looking for enemies. And give me some likes and some comments on what you think about this topic here. Please give me some comments because that's, that's all I seek. I want to see some comments. Thanks for watching my video.